वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस ऑन पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑर्थोफॉस्फोरिक एसिड इज अ मोनोबेसिक डाइबेसिक ट्राइबेसिक और टेट्राबेसिक एज इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द ऑक्सो एसिड्स ऑफ फॉस्फोरस एंड हेयर ऑर्थोफॉस्फोरिक एसिड इज ऑल्सो ऑक्सो एसिड ऑफ फॉस्फोरस द फॉर्मूला फॉर ऑर्थोफॉस्फोरिक एसिड इट इज एच थ्री पी ओ फोर सो नाउ वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट एंड वी हैव टू आंसर दिस ऑर्थोफॉस्फोरिक एसिड इज मोनोबेसिक डाइबेसिक ट्राइबेसिक और टेट्राबेसिक and uh, as we draw the structure of orthophosphoric acid h3po4 what will we observe we will observe there will be uh, there will be three poh bonds and one p double bond o bond will be there now as there are three in the structure of orthophosphoric acid there are three poh bond so it means the that three oh bonds means the nature of orthophosphoric acid is tribasic due to the formation of three oh three poh bonds in the in the formula of h3po4 so the answer will be tribasic now next question is what is the hybridization of phosphorus in pcl5 and the options are sp3 sp2 sp3d2 sp3d as we know that the structure of pcl5 is trigonal bipyramidal geometry it has it is it has tpp geometry and for tpp geometry the hybridization of pcl5 should be sp3d in which there are in which there are uh, there is one s orbital one d orbital and three p orbitals are taking part in a reaction and they are forming five bonds by this and you can also find out the hybridization by applying the formula also and the formula for finding the hybridization is equal 1 by half into valency electron in the central atom plus number of atom attached to the central atom by the single bond plus the negative charge minus the positive charge you can also find out uh, the hybridization of pcl5 by applying this formula as well now come to question second next next is the number of pop bonds in cyclic metaphosphoric acid is options are 0 3 2 4 so as you draw the structure of cyclo uh, cyclic metaphosphoric acid and cyclic metaphosphoric acid is h o h p o 3 whole thrice and uh, as you draw the structure of meta phosphoric acid in cyclic form the uh, pop bonds comes to be they are 3 in it three pop bonds are present in meta phosphoric cyclic form of meta phosphoric acid next is the basicity of pyrophosphorus acid is as we have already discussed the oxo acids of phosphorus in previous classes and the formula for pyrophosphoric acid is h4p2o5 and uh, for h4p2o5 there are two poh bond two ph bond and two p double bond o so as we have already discussed the basicity of any of the oxo acid can be calculated by this nature of the poh bond since the poh bond in oxo acid of phosphorus is it is a ionizable bond and due to this we, we can calculate the basicity because uh, the number of poh bond attached they will re, uh, they will release the h positive from the oh and as the h positive will release uh, as much the h positive will, will release that will be the basicity of that particular oxo acid of phosphorus so in case of h in case of h4 p2o5 it is pyrophosphorus acid h4 p2o5 there are two p double bond o bonds they are and two poh bonds two ph bond and one pop bond so the basicity for po pyrophosphorus acid will be two because of the presence of two poh bonds in it it is a dibasic in nature come to the next strong reducing behavior of h3po2 is due to the presence of one poh bond and two ph bonds it is due to the high electron gain enthalpy of phosphorus 
option C, low oxidation state of phosphorus, and option four, uh, presence of two OH groups and one pH. Since H3PO2 is met a hypophosphorus acid and uh, the uh, reducing nature of any of the oxo acid can only be discussed by the presence of OH bond or by the uh, presence of pH bonds and in hypophosphorus acid there are two pH bonds and one OH bond as you draw the structure of hypophosphorus acid H3PO2 what we what you will get you will get one PO, pOH bond was there uh, will be there two pH bonds will be there and one P double bond O will be there and the reducing nature of any of the oxo acid can only be discussed by the bond of by pH bonds as we have already discussed in our previous video this pH bond uh, is very uh, is very weak and due to its weak character the acid act as reducing in nature so the correct answer for this question will be option first presence of one pOH bond and two pH bonds now come to question next. Next question: H3PO2 hypophosphorus acid and H3PO3 orthophosphorus acid act as a good reducing agent, but H3PO4 orthophosphoric acid does not. Why? So the solution for this, due to the presence of pH bond, reducing nature, as we have already discussed in previous question, reducing nature on, depends on the uh, on the bond formed by phosphorus and hydrogen as due to the presence of pH bond in H3PO2 hypophosphorus acid and orthophosphorus acid H3PO3 it they act as reducing agent and but orthophosphoric acid H3PO4 does not have any pH bond and hence it does not act as reducing agent and you can see in the image also uh, this is for First image is for mat, uh, hypophosphorus acid H3PO2 and here you can see that here uh, in hypophosphorus acid there are two pH bonds. One pH bond is this and another pH bond is this. There are two pH bonds in it. But uh, if you come to uh, orthophosphorus acid there is only one pH bond and two OH, pOH bonds are there. Uh, but if you come to orthophosphoric acid all the pH bonds get replaced by pOH bonds and in orthophosphoric acid there are three pOH bonds these are three pOH bonds this is one two and three these are three pOH bonds due to this the orthophosphoric acid does not act as a good reducing agent whereas or uh, hypophosphorus acid and orthophosphorus acid has a tendency to act as a good reducing agent due to the presence of pH bonds in it Next is why does R3 P double bond O exist but R3 N double bond O does not exist why and where R is any alkyl group. So the answer or the reason behind this is since R3 N double bond O does not exist because nitrogen cannot have covalency more than 4. And also nitrogen do not have vacant d orbital in its valency shell and due to this nitrogen only forms p pi p pi bond it can't extend its octet beyond 4 beyond its covalency of 4 whereas in case of r3 p double bond o it exists this this compound exists because phosphorus can extend its covalency more than 4 as well as it can form d pi p pi bond as it can extend its covalency more than 4 so it can also form d pi p pi bonds with the other compounds as well now i have some practice questions for you so do these questions and send me the answers or you can also write the answers in comment box. So here are some question. Question first is the oxidation state of phosphorus and cyclo trimetaphosphoric acid is and these are some options. Which of the following is not correct? White phosphorus P4 has these are four options in it. Next is the number of hydrogen atoms attached to phosphorus atom in hypophosphorus acid is. 
Next is which acid has P P linkage, and some of the acids are given in option. Next, write main differences between the properties of white phosphorus and red phosphorus. Next, what structure does PCl5 adopt in the solid state and vapor state? So, thank you. That's all for today. We will meet in our next video with our new topics. So, keep watching. Thank you.